It was your uh, blood test today, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you come to see me? Yeah. I just like loitering around hospitals. Yes, of course. I'm here to see you. Well, that's good because um, I wanted to talk to you. I know. I gave Felix his stuff back and and he told me that you are not getting together. So after all that, you're jibbing him off. <sighs> jibbing him off. <laughs> what are we twelve? What did you expect? I mean, did you think I was gonna run straight back into his arms after what we did? Yeah, actually, I did. Because then I could have come to terms with it, even though I've known, really, all along that Felix loves you, that you and him are inevitable. Grace, do you know the worst thing? Is you going behind my back. That's the real shocker. I never really had a proper friend, but the more I got to know you, the more I, I, I got it. So I blame myself for sticking my head in the sand, actually thinking that you were going to pick me over Felix. But that's just it. I chose you. Yeah, out of guilt. Nothing more. Let's not kid ourselves more than we already have been doing. You and Felix, you two have something rare. So if he is your happy ever after, then you should just go for it. <laughs> because it would be far worse, me watching you skulk round the village like some poor man's Romeo and Juliet. Well, I can't believe you're being so generous. Well, you know me. I'm all heart. Yeah. I do. And you are. If... If... I was to give it a go with Felix... How do I know he wouldn't hurt me? He did it to you. He's done it to me before. And I'm scared that he could do it again. Yeah, well, I can't help you with that. I can't give you advice. I can't be your confidant, and I definitely can't be your friend. We can't go back. Not now. So, so you want to see me? What does that mean? I don't want to do this on the phone. Let's meet at the salon. Because right. if it wasn't, then you'd just carry on ignoring me. Yes, it's good news. But, Felix, I need you to understand that I am the one taking all the risk here. Yes, I am willing to believe that you've changed, but... don't make me regret it. I I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'm here. You're making a mistake. You don't even know what I'm going to do. That is where you are wrong. When it comes to that man, I always know. And where will it end, hmm? You'll break your heart, Martine, for your own good and for the sake of your friendship with Grace. I don't have a friendship with Grace. And I don't want to lose Felix. Huh. You're out and about on your own. Must be feeling stronger. What I am feeling is the need to protect my daughter. I will not allow this between you to go ahead. You're in no position to stop it, yeah? Boy, for years I have tolerated you for Martine's sake, endured your ways, your exploits. You know, she was a good girl. Went to church, did well at school, nice friends, had everything going for her. And then you arrived. And within no time at all, you had got her pregnant, gave away the babies for some under-the-counter adoption, and left my teenage daughter in a dreadful state. That was a long time ago, Walter. I was 16. I'm not that irresponsible boy anymore. No. You have turned into an irresponsible man who keeps dragging Martine into dreadful and shameful situations. Come on. And you will keep on doing this just like you have always done. Martine is the woman I love. Martine 
is the mother of my children. All the more reason to stay away. Yes, the relationship will start off well at first, all hearts and flowers before reality kicks in. And what really is that? She has cancer. She is sick. She is fighting the fight of her life. And that means that life would be hard. There are days that would be ugly and painful. You will have to be brave in a loss of dignity, unwavering when confronting mortality. This will test you in ways you could never imagine. I have been through all of this with Gloria. The difference being, I could handle it. You will not be able to. Because you, <laughs> you are reckless, worthless, and you are selfish. I can look after Martine. You can barely look after yourself, boy. Tell me, hand on Bible, that you have the strength to take on all of this. Hmm? This is not how I wanted things to go. But having to say my truth to you face to face, well, that would have been just too hard. This morning you admitted that you can't help who you love, but you also said you can help what you do about it. That got me thinking, I do love you so much. But I have loved you before, and we both know how that turned out. When I'm not in the picture, you have a good life. And despite what I try and do, I drag you down. Always have, always will. Pressuring you to be with me isn't fair and it isn't right because I'm not the man you deserve. I'm not a good man. I don't want you to place your belief in me if I cannot honor it. I'm not built to have a family. I'm not reliable enough to stay on the straight and narrow. And I'm just not strong enough to support you for your cancer battle. I am so sorry, but because of this, I am leaving. This way I know you'll have the best chance at happiness.